Hello friends, this is Akanksha Tyagi. Today in Monday Makeovers, we are going to talk about a very important component in our life. Well, before I start with that component, uh, I'm very sure uh, you also agree with that. Um, our TV, radio, podcast, everything is filled off some or the other kind of makeovers. Whether it's your hair makeover, whether it's your wardrobe makeover, whether it's your... Um, home makeover, renovation I'm talking about. So there's so many makeovers, but nobody talks about a very important component that has the massive capacity to transform your life. You can, if you follow that makeover, if you, if you uh, work on that makeover, you can reach where you want to from where you are. Yes, you got that right. I'm talking about mind makeover in Monday makeovers today. So let's try to understand what is mind makeover. Uh, I'm sure uh, since your childhood you follow a different pattern. It, it, the pattern keeps on changing on, on uh, the different stages of life, be it infancy, be it um, adolescent, be it a teenager, the, the pattern keeps on changing every time. But let me tell you one thing. Uh, if we keep on doing the same thing on regular basis, we'll be achieving what we are getting since past. Yes. Bilkul sahi samjha, apne agar hum wahi cheez karte rahenge, agar hum wahi pattern follow karte rahenge, to hume milta bhi wahi rahega, jo pehle se milta aa raha tha. Agar aapko kuch alag chahiye, agar aapko kuch naya chahiye apni zindagi mein, to you have to do something new. Because every change is a new beginning in itself. So uh, let's say example, we are in quarantine nowadays. So what new things are you doing? How you are challenging yourself? Uh, please pour in your uh, suggestions and comments uh, in the comment section, sorry. Please pour in those uh, feedbacks and suggestions also. And I would also like to know what you are doing in this quarantine session, in the self-isolation uh, time in the comment section. Do let me know. Yes, so for me, the new thing that I have been doing is making this video for you all. This is my new thing that I am doing in this quarantine session. What I have done, what else I have done, I'm not a technical person, but I built my website on my own by learning on my own. I didn't hire anyone. So this is a thing that I have done in this quarantine session and it helped me to grow as an individual. So let's talk about how we can help our mind in transforming the way we want. Number one, deciding factor. What is deciding factor? It is what you want from your life, what you want to achieve from your life. That is the deciding factor. You have to decide where you want to reach from where you are. What is very important? Yes, so what is very important in your life? Everything starts with a what. Uh, when you understand what, what is important in your life, you can actually work for it. I always uh, tell my students, my trainees, uh, five wives and one husband. Yes, you, you got it right. Five wives and one husband. What are those five wives? What? Why? Who, when, where, and the important one of them is how. Yes, you get that right. How? So when you are sure about what you want to achieve in your life, when you are sure about uh, what exactly is your goal, where you want to reach, you can work on it. And when you know what is that goal of yours, the goal should be smart. What is smart? Specific, measurable, um, achievable, realistic and time bound yes when you have these five factors to achieve your goal and you follow these five factors you can actually achieve whatever you want so we have already talked about decide deciding factor we we can decide where we have to achieve uh, where we have to reach number two point is very 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 important that is self-discipline Yes, once you have decided where you want to reach, you have to follow a pattern of self-discipline. What is self-discipline? Uh, I always tell my students, uh, never allow your mind to rule you. You should rule your mind. Yes, 
because our mind plays a lot of games with us every time. For example, if you uh, make a timetable and then try to follow it, what happens? After some time, you see uh, one or the other thing around your, uh, around your that um, cocoon of self-regulation. What do you see? You might see your kids, you might see uh, kids playing out, you might see a noise from outside, hear a noise from outside and you go out there and those things divert your mind and you go there and this very thing breaks the routine of self-discipline. So you have to regulate, regulate your mind to follow a pattern of self-discipline in which you need to have the control over mind rather the mind control you. I'm, I'm, I'm sure uh, you are all are uh, with me and following what I am saying. Number three point is very important. The beliefs, the belief system. You need to work on your belief system as well. What is the belief system? Let's try to understand this. Uh, we all have very limiting beliefs. We always uh, look for someone else acknowledgement, someone else approval. And if uh, we share our dreams, our aims with somebody and some per uh, other person says, uh, are you sure you won't be able to do it? Do you have that much of money with you? And we all hold back our beliefs. So I would request all of you, I would request all of you to have empowering beliefs rather the limiting beliefs. Yes, you got get me right. So let's uh, try and understand about the situation that we all are in right now. What is that situation? Self-isolation, quarantine, right? So let me share a story uh, of uh, a very famous scientist that you all must have followed in your school's uh, time as well. Newton, Isaac Newton. Uh, I don't remember the exact year. It was like uh, in that year, Isaac Newton was studying in Cambridge University. And that time, uh, his place was affected by a very deadly uh, plague. And it was a pandemic that was there in his uh, city and uh, all over his nation. So what happened was, uh, they were told to go back their home and stay their home until the government announces the relief from that pan pandemic. So he was there at his home for complete one year. Yes, complete one year, but he never lost his hope. He started working on that thing. Th th that thing is his, his aim, his uh, ambition, his goal. So he did a lot of research sitting at home, a lot of uh, going through the books, doing experiments. So uh, he was uh, living in a very small room and there he started doing some experiments on light. What was that experiment? Uh, the experiment about light that light is made up of many colors so uh, there was a hole uh, uh, in his room and he could see sunlight beaming into his room and he, he uh, that, that prism thing that earlier the, those prisms were used for antique purposes only for the show pieces only there was no scientific uh, uh, usage of those prisms so he used that prism and he found that through that uh, the rays were going and they were so colorful so he uh, 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 invented this thing the light is made of so many colors and that one year when that one year was over he came up with two journals and he published them and, and those journals were acclaimed were were uh, got instant hit among all the people who were following uh, science and who were doing different experiments on light and other stuff maybe what i am sharing you is not that correct or the information is little bit uh, 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 skeptical but what I mean to say over here is but what I may want to make you understand is that always see a struggle a challenge as an opportunity because when you see these things as opportunity you would be able to reap out benefits out of it so uh, there is a saying a pessimist always sees things as difficulties but an optimistic optimist person always sees every difficulty as an opportunity to build something so this is this is all uh, i wanted to tell you about uh, mind makeovers we'll be back soon and sharing more and more videos about how to control your mind how to regulate your mind and understanding 
the working of subconscious mind. Stay tuned. Till then, bye-bye. Love you all. Namaskar.